Yeah, but let me tell you something. See, this is why, you know what I'm saying, a lot of chicks, a lot of women be fucked up in the game. Because you got in the closet ass niggas like motherfucking them Dwight Howard who's trying to hide their motherfucking damn secret, you know what I'm saying, sexual desires. Oh, let me back that up again, little niggas. Little niggas and little, 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 little women. I'm going to call you, you know what I'm saying, like 3LW, three little women. You know what I'm saying? Little niggas and 3LWs. This is why a lot of women in the world is fucked up in the game. This is why a lot of women in the world, you know what I'm saying, winds up with AIDS and they don't know how they got it. This is why a lot of women who winds up, you know what I'm saying, with all type of STDs or wind up, you know what I'm saying, just, you know what I'm saying, with kids and then they, they, they man just goes off with other men because you got in the closet ass niggas like motherfucking them Dwight Howard who motherfucking them secretly have a, have a woman but yet digging in the booties, digging in the booties, you know. You know, back in the day, they call them digging in the crates. You know what I'm saying? The DJ, you know what I'm saying? Back in the day, they called DJs the digging in the crate crew. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? This is D- this is Dwight Howard's, and his gang is called the digging in the booty crew. You know what I'm saying? Ask Ray J. Ray J know all about the digging in the booty crew because Ray J went on Hot 97, not Hot 97, Power 105, The Breakfast Club, and said he that he got some real booty goons that will dig in your booty. Anyway, let me tell you something, people. So you all know about the the Dwight Howard incident where, you know what I'm saying, he had a gay lover and he asked a gay lover to sign a non-disclosure agreement so that they can continue their romantically desires. Do you know they do this all through the NFL? Do you know they do this in hip-hop? You know what I'm saying? Jay Z got himself a gay lover. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Jay Prince got himself a gay lover. You know what I'm saying? Every male rapper you can think of in hip hop got themselves a male lover. The reason why you don't see anything them talking about it because they had them male gay lovers sign a non disclosure agreement. See what I'm saying, people? But, um,. See, this is something that Dwight Howard got to, you know what I'm saying, he got to deal with himself because he fucked up by, you know what I'm saying, by dealing with this man. And this man, you know what I'm saying, not, you know what I'm saying, properly telling this man, you know what I'm saying, before he started to deal with this man. Now, I'm not saying to you straight men out there, I'm not telling you to do this. But this is what Dwight Howard should have done. Before he started to get intimate with this man, he should have said, yo, listen, man, you know I'm an NBA star, man. You know I'm a somebody, man. And you know that you are a nobody, man. So before I can even talk to you, man, I want you to sign this paperwork, man. And then that probably that man probably would have signed that paperwork because he know that you wouldn't have been able to even talk to that man until he did but instead you were so madly in love with that man Mr. Dwight Howard that you went ahead and slept with that man and had all type of sexual relationships with that man and then you want to tell him to sign a non disclosure agreement after you stuck your old rusty dick in that man it don't work that way you know what I'm saying? You remind me of some of these dumbass niggas out here who motherfucking them are so retarded that motherfucking them, they don't think they do the act and then worry about the consequences after they do the act. You are no different than that. These, these, these dumbass niggas out there, man. But you know what I'm saying? The reason why the elites ain't coming after, see, see, the elites 
if if, if Dwight Howard would have been somebody, you know what I'm saying? If the Dwight Howard would have, you know what I'm saying, been really somebody like a like a, a, a LeBron James, it wouldn't have never happened that a man come out trying to expose him. It would have never happened. That goes to show you that Dwight Howard ain't shit. He better just step his ritual game up. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? So Dwight Howard, you know what I'm saying? The reason why this why is this coming up in the news? It says Dwight Howard is coming out with some new evidence. Uh, you can have all the new evidence all you want to, Dwight Howard. The case is closed. That gay man already sued you. The case is closed. You already been sued, Dwight Howard. What are you what are you trying to do? What evidence are you coming up with now? It's an open and closed case. It says the gay man and sued you already. So being that you are sued and the gay man won, that shows that the gay man was telling the truth. You know, kind of like when that gay man came out against LL Cool J. And that gay man exposed LL Cool J. And LL Cool J said that, I'm going to sue you. LL Cool J ain't never sued that gay man. Because that gay man was telling the truth. See, the truth should set you free. But what I want to say here in this news report is, you women need to watch out for these in-the-closet niggas. Because you might just be messing with an in-the-closet-ass nigga, too. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That, that's what the world, you know what I'm saying? And you got to understand, every last NBA star, you best believe LeBron, LeBron James got his own personal motherfucking gay man. You know what I'm saying? You got old, uh, even uh, um, Zion, Zion, or what's his name? Zion Washington or something like that. Uh, that other basketball player, he got his personal gay man. You best believe every last one of these NBA players got their personal gay Man, you know what I'm saying. The only difference is every other last of these other NBA stars that made their personal gay man sign a personal gay damn uh non disclosure agreement. The only one that was so high strung into fucking the gay man first and then letting the gay man sign it. You know what I'm saying. You don't damn commit the act and then have the yeah and then have the you know what I'm saying the gay man sign a non disclosure agreement. That defeats the purpose. You see what I'm saying? You don't motherfucking them go and rob the bank first, and then you go, when you're running out the bank, then you go to try to find a getaway car so that you can steal. That's ass backwards. The White House is ass backwards. But anyway, this is news. I'm your host. And I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. If you are new to this channel, please tap that subscribe button. Hit that like button if you like this show. Hit that hate button if you hate this show. Hit that comment button if you have a personal comment on this show. Also, if you oh check out um don't forget to check out the the new single off of um uh Camilla Bates's um uh, debut album called I Am God's Greatest Creation. You know what I'm saying? I want you. It's available on iTunes right now. Go look at that shit. Go download that shit. Go motherfucking hear that shit. Check out the link in the description box below. CamillaBates.com. Don't forget our weekly podcast show every Friday night at 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That link is also in the description box below also. IlluminatiExposedMedia.com. Till next time, stay tuned. God bless you.